welcome all in this lecture we are going to solve one more example that is example number 4 sketch the polar plot for the following transfer function which is given as g of s equals to 1 plus s to the power 2 so we have to follow all the five steps to plot a polar plot so first step is determination of open loop transfer function that is g of s since g of s is given already in the question that's why our open loop transfer function is equals to 1 over 1 plus s square moving on to the next step that is step 2 in the step 2 we have to replace s in this term with j omega so put s equals to j omega we get g of j omega equals to 1 over 1 plus j omega to the power 2 this term we got by replacing s equals to j omega in the above expression moving on to the next term step that is step number 3 in which we will calculate magnitude so the magnitude is represented as mod of g of j omega and mod of g of j omega is equals to under 1 over we can write it as separately that is omega square plus 1 then also omega square plus 1 because it is whole square that's why we written two terms here okay after this we have to calculate the phase angle so the phase angle is denoted by angle of g of j omega and angle of g of j omega is nothing but equals to tan inverse tan inverse of here is no imaginary part that's why we have to write zero and one is the real part that's why we have to write one in the denominator after this there are two terms in the denominator that's why we have to write negative sign since it is a denominator term after this we have to write 2 because it is an whole square after this we have to write tan inverse then the imaginary part is omega here and the real part is 1 here so on rewriting the phase angle we get angle of g of j omega is equals to tan inverse of 0 is nothing but equals to 0 only so final output will be minus 2 tan inverse omega this is the final expression for phase angle and this is the final expression for magnitude moving on to the next step that is step number 5 in which we have to form the table so these are the three partitions in the first we have to write the values of omega in second we have to write the magnitude values that is mod of g of j omega and in the third value in the third column we have to write phase angle so firstly we put omega equals to 0.0 after this we write omega equals to 0.2 then after we calculate for 0.5 after this for 5 then we will calculate for 10 and finally for omega equals to infinite 
so the values will be 0 0.96 These all values of the magnitude and phase angle I got after the calculation by putting the various values of omega in this equation and in this formula also. After this, the successful formation of this table, we have to plot a polar plot. So this is our polar plot. This is 0 degree or 360 degree. This is plus 90 degree or minus 270 degree. This is 180 degree or minus 180 degree. This is nothing but 270 degree or minus 90 degree. On the basis of the angle, we can say that our polar plot will start from zero, taking all the negative angles and will go to minus 180 degree. So this is the zero and it is minus 180 degree so our polar plot will lie in fourth quadrant as well as in the third quadrant moving on to the magnitude we can say that our polar plot will start from 1 at the magnitude and will end at its origin that is at 0 so firstly let draw all the angles so minus 22.61 will be here minus 53.513 will be somewhere here minus 157.38 will be here and minus 168.57 will be here and minus 180 is this line also so let's point all the magnitude on this various phase angles so at omega equals to 0, 0.0 we have a magnitude that is equals to 1 so this is at omega equals to 0 after this at omega equals to 0 0.2 we have a magnitude that is equals to 0 0.96 so 0 0.96 will be here so it will be here after that at omega equals to 0 0.5 the magnitude becomes 0 0.8 so 0 0.8 will be here so this is 0 0.8 at omega equals to 5 the magnitude will become 0 0.038 it is a gradual decrease in the value of magnitude so this is 0 0.038 will be here at omega equals to 10 its value will become 0 0.009 and finally at omega equals to infinite its value will become 0 so at omega equals to infinite it ends finally so joining all the points we get our polar plot as this so our polar plot will start from the magnitude 1 at omega equals to 0 and move in the anti-clockwise direction and finally goes at the magnitude equals to 0 at omega equals to infinite so this is all about the polar plot. Thank you.